hello and welcome to the lecture on understanding strong emphasis underline and italics so we'll understand how to apply these styles into your web page so go to your introduction to html folders right click and we'll create one more folder called as strong okay so i'm going to give you a startup file a reference file which you can find in the material folder and you can start from there So this file, so this is a file that you can find in the material folder. All you can do is you can copy this up, remove the start here. Okay, and we'll start using in the brackets now. Okay, let's close all other files. Okay. to this we will apply the styles okay typically there are many styles available you can apply and styling is actually applied via the css but still html give you some simple tags to apply the styles to your text okay and these styles are called as one is strong the tag is strong okay they are not self closing tags but i'm just trying to define them here okay this is to bold the text okay then next is italics this is to italics the text then you have underline for underline you have u tag then you have emphasis if you want to emphasize like a quote you can use it emphasis all right so let's use these tags now okay for that i want to emphasize i want to put a strong around my lorem ipsum okay so i'm going to do that i'm going to say strong so strong opening and strong closing so wherever you apply strong opening and closing that becomes bold right you know bold right if you use microsoft word you should have known what bold means this is like your adding bold underlying italics and playing around with the text okay and these tags mostly are used inside the paragraphs so all the formatting of the text is done via these tags so let's do a live preview of it okay so you see the strong has been applied okay and you can see it's in the bold now okay the bold only happened just now for heading tags now to apply bold onto the text you use a tag called strong okay and you want to underline something let's go on top and you want to underline printing and type a text so you say underline so printing and type setting industry is underlined okay if you see it here it's underlined now okay and you want to add a break here obviously the break is already been applied and if you go down you want to play around with this you go down you want to apply strong onto this okay and also you want to have italics for it okay you can see how it becomes it became strong and italics maybe you want to write a comment for it okay you can write it in both ways you can write italics and you can say nice article and you can say worth reading and now you want to um, put a strong for the person who has wrote this comment right okay you can see here so this is basically italics and this is strong okay similarly you can play around with this and you can add emphasize okay typically emphasize is used when you want to write a quote or something you can use emphasize for it and inside the text you want to add italics use i tag okay and let's say the same thing and is written by jane right is the same output let's refresh this okay it's the same output but understand emphasize is mostly used to 
you know for a quotation for writing comments and those kind of stuff italics is mostly when you write a text you want to italic something then you write to use i tag there okay but most of the output that you see italics and emphasize both look same okay is just different tags are available for us to use and you can use the closing of the emphasis here right so that's your html page so let's open our html page okay it looks much beautiful now you have your heading tags you have subheadings then you have your strong that's coming up from strong let's look at that this strong is coming basically highlighting the text in bold then you have underline u tag that's underlining the text then you have italics here you have applied italics then you again you have strong here and then you have also used emphasize for it for this one okay so the page look very nice now you can go ahead and change the formatting of text using strong italics underline and emphasize okay so these are the tags that is been used to change the format of the text well that's all this lecture on formatting the text and i'll see you in the next one